general ledger setup page, we can set up dimensions as either global or shortcut dimensions. Global dimensions are used as filters. We can use only two global dimensions, so it's important to choose the dimensions we expect to use most frequently. Shortcut dimensions are also available as individual fields on journals and document lines. We're able to designate six of these type of dimension. So to set these up, we'll go to the setup page first of all. That is the general ledger setup. And on the general ledger setup page, we'll go to the dimensions tab. We'll select show more as well, just to see everything. And you can see that we can assign shortcut dimensions three to eight. You may also notice that the shortcut dimension one and two are defaulted as the global dimensions. It's not possible to change the global dimensions as we do with the shortcut dimensions, which is simply selecting the one that we wish to use here using the drop down. However, to change the global dimensions, we go up the top here to actions, functions, and change global dimensions. This opens up another page, which we'll just maximize for a moment. And here we can change the global dimension. When global dimensions are changed, especially if they've been in use for a while, changing them can result in Business Central slowing down for a short period or even locking tables as it's changing a lot of data in the background. Um, if they've been in use for a while, we can expect that slowdown or table locking to take place over a slightly longer period of time. It's important to get your global dimensions right the first time. However, if the change is necessary, it can be performed. There's also an option here regarding parallel processing. Parallel processing means that changes will be processed simultaneously with parallel background jobs. In order to use this, we must first run the prepare function under parallel. And there's an option here called prepare. When selected, this will populate the log entries uh, tab with a list of all the tables that we expect to be affected by the dimension change. When we're ready to start the job uh, to change, select either sequential or parallel on the ribbon and then select start uh, to start the process.